Alright then, hello guys. Today I am doing a No Man's Sky benchmark with um, using 1080p, 440p, and 4K resolutions as usual with a GeForce RTX 3060 Ti. To show I'm not faking it, here's the GPU. GPU, well, I have this, but yeah, RTX 3060 Ti. Not, not doing this. Maybe I'll do this in the future. <laughs> Maybe I'll no, 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 UHD six thirty graphics. Um, I'll change that back to one ten, please. Okay. So maximum quality settings in the game. This is the community expedition, but the won't change. Vulcan API, and yeah, everything is maxed out. Everything is maxed out, including the anti aliasing. So let's go. And starting from the rip. Wait, I just want to see something. Max out resolution scale? Yep, okay. So yeah, the game is stuttery. Let's go find some bones, shall we? Alright, so 1080p, native resolution, and this is a hair refresher experience. Yeah, so. Pretty solid performance, although as you can see the GPU power usage is only at 195 watts when it can go up to 250 watts. So that shows that the GPU still has a lot of room left in it, and those are a lot of bones. Those are a lot of bones. Nice rare item found. In the menu, around the same FPS. So let's charge up the rusted metal. Let's turn it into ferrite dust. Oh shit, freaking get the hell out. Thank you. Okay, so reasonably good performance at 1080p. But let's see if 1080p DLSS quality will change anything. So looking in this direction, 120 FPS. And DLSS quality now. And the FPS are actually higher. So 130? Yeah. Of course the game is stuttering a lot. Yeah, it's actually around the same. Kind of a big rip. So yeah, pretty similar performance as 1080p without DLSS. Let's collect these materials. Condensed carbon. I like condensed carbon. Give me that for red dust too. Nice. Life support systems that what? I don't even know. This game looks incredible in my opinion. One of the best looking games I ever played. Like seriously. Just gorgeous actually. And there's also a snowy planet, which is one of the more intensive planets in the game. Alright then, let's change now to 1440 p 2560 by 1440. With no DLSS. Oh sorry, yeah. Tape plus of XA anti aliasing. At the 2560 by 1440p resolution. And 90 FPS. And this is, I think, native, right? Yeah, native. So native 1440p. 80s. Yeah.
still really solid experience in this game. And again, the GPU power is not even fully maxed out, so the GPU can actually provide more. Yeah, so this is a pretty damn solid result. Stuttering in this game, because VRAM usage is 7.1 gigabytes. And that's of course because of the fact that we're using the Ultra Textures, which do use up to 8 gigabytes of Viva. Okay, we're almost done here. So yeah, FPS don't, yeah, FPS kind of drop, I mean, yeah, around the same. FPS are pretty consistent in this game, don't fluctuate too much from like 90. Then let's keep on moving, shall we? And yeah, 1440p resolution using the same quality settings. Are very playable. Nice. Eighties, yeah, still the same. Okay then, yeah. Okay then, I think that's enough for native 1440p, 93 FPS on average. Pretty great. Now let's try with the DLSS on quality. Still same, ultra graphics maxed out. And yeah, now it's a high refresh rate 1440p-ish experience at around 111 to 120 frames per second. Just found some damn loot. What the hell did I get? Oh, okay. Dropping into the 100, still very smooth, very playable. Yeah, as you can see, this game is very consistent. Of its performance. Mining doesn't really affect performance too much. So yeah, 110 FPS on average. The 1% of those aren't ref are just caused by stuttering, really, that's all. Alright then, just gonna continue flying to the bones so that I can pick them up for the mission. 
The expedition ends in nine days, so I'm gonna have to work on that, but damn! This game looks really good. As you can see, the grass, you move, clouds are beautiful, shadows are... Basically everything about this game is beautiful. Looks great. I really love it. And now, yeah, I think now it's time for the 4K resolution. Let's shut off the DLSS and return back to TA plus FXA. And now let's go to 4K. Native 4K with no DLSS at first, then I'll introduce some DLSS. And yeah, yeah, just let it wait. Okay. Okay. And 60 FPS at 4K with no DLSS. Okay, it's dropping into the 50s, but still at native 4K. And it's around 60. Okay, it's dropping into the low 50s, but still, that's very impressive. I'm saying this is a mid range GPU and it's running a basically 2021 game because. Okay, that's nice. Okay, why can I get this? Okay, good. Dropping into the lower 50s. Yeah, yep, still perfectly playable. And it looks insanely sharp and detailed, like... Although the TEA and T-aliasing isn't the best, but it still looks great. Let me just see... Okay, wow, the menu... The menu is, for some reason, really intensive at 4K. I don't even know why. Like, why is the menu so intensive? I really just don't know. And it's nighttime now, yeah. Night, the nighttime doesn't really affect performance. Again, this game is very consistent with its performance. Except, of course, for the pesky stuff. But, the, for example, the menu is, for some reason, dropping into the 30s. But in normal gameplay, it's around 50. Okay. In a cave? No, let's see performance inside a cave. In a cave? Around the same. Yep. Pretty consistent. Wait a minute, I'm gonna... Oh wow, a legendary item was found. That's epic. Okay, that looks very rare. Um, which one is my least worthy? I guess this one. Ho oh, ho! Two legendary bones found. Two legendary bones. That's insane, man. But wow, I'm surprised how playable. I'm surprised how playable native 4K is. Yeah, it's not a 60 plus FPS experience. But it's still around the 60 FPS experience. The reason why the average FPS is nowhere near 60 is 53 is because of the insanely intensive menu at 4K for some reason. But in normal gameplay, it fluctuates around 50 to 60 FPS. Yeah, 4K is extremely impressive. So now, yeah, we have the same 4K. Now let's introduce some DLSS on the quality mode. And it'll apply. It's not like this, it'll apply. Okay, yeah, there we go. 80 FPS. So it's basically the same as native 1440p. Yeah. And it looks, you know, looks like native 4K, essentially. I would say in some areas it looks better because of, you know... Okay, it's stuttering hard. I'm gonna have to recount it. When I answer this menu, yeah. There's a stutter. Wait, hopefully no. Yeah, it fixes itself. Menu is still intensive? With DLSS... Wait, with DLSS, the menu isn't as intensive. It only drops a few frames compared to, like, 30. It, like, halves the... That's, like... Why does it do that with TAA? Yeah, the TA implementation isn't exactly the best in this game, that's for sure. But yeah, the sky is looking beautiful, the stars in the space, the clouds. And you can still see your shadow, and you can still see other things shadow. 
even at night, which is great. Particle effects. Yeah. Dropping into the 70s, this is a 60 plus FPS experience all of the time. Even, I think, in intensive storms, it won't drop. So this is an awesome, great experience. Just perfect. This is how I actually play the game. At ultra 4K with quality, and it looks amazing. It runs awesome, looks awesome. Just an amazingly well-optimized title. Which is funny, because before it was a pretty poorly optimized title, but they made it a well-optimized title, not only by improving the visuals, and performance, but also by introducing DLSS, which is of course a great way to optimize your games, but only for RTX users. Wow, that's a lot of oxygen-rich plants. <laughs> Time to pick them up, I guess. Sentinels don't mind if I do this for some reason, but they mind if I mine stuff, which I guess is okay. Alright then, so 79 FPS on average, 58% lose. Yeah, 60 plus FPS experience pretty much all of the time, great. Now, let's try performance DLSS and see how many FPS we get. We get 90s. So unfortunately, not quite a higher refresh rate 4K experience for that 1K. I mean, 1K, it's a, the 4K 144Hz monitors. But if you have a 4K 144Hz monitor and don't want to destroy the quality, like yeah, this is the best experience to do. 4K with performance DLSS still looks good. Yeah, it doesn't look as good as quality. What the hell? Fucking sticky keys made that happen, man. I hate sticky keys. This is a new recording, by the way. Frick. Sticky keys, man. I hate that bullcrap. Uh huh, wait. Okay, I, I'm gonna have to climb this insanely high mountain now. I freaking hate sticky keys. Why does it think I want sticky keys, man? I hate this bullcrap. somehow walking on the mountain though. How am I walking on the mountain? Okay, that's it for now. And looking at the entire thing. Map yep, FPS don't drop by a lot. I actually gain, which I guess makes sense because the map is less detailed. But anyways, let's try. Now, 4K Ultra Performance. This will be the last test. And... 120 FPS? But it looks... Noticeably softer than Performance, which already looked worse than the Quality Mode. So I wouldn't really recommend this experience. Not exactly great. Yeah. I mean, at least it's closer to a 4K 120 or 140 hertz experience. But the problem is they have to kind of destroy the quality to do so. Now this is looking like 1440p, maybe even worse, like 1080p. So yeah, I wouldn't really recommend this experience. Still looks good, but nowhere near as good as 4K performance or, you know, 4K with quality or even 1440p with quality all right then i'm just gonna do the final part with my settings which will just be 4k with quality and enjoy the rest of the gameplay i'm just gonna go hunting for some bones yeah and it's looking way sharper oh it looks so freaking good and it runs so well like this honestly I, these are my settings just 4k ultra with DLSS on quality, I'm just gonna go to this nearest natural barrel site and end the video. Enjoy the beauty of this game.
Wow. I'm also going to see if it drops from 60, which I don't think it will. Yeah, no, it won't. You don't even need 60 plus FPS in a game like this, but it is really nice to have for that smoothness. Damn, like the level of detail on some of these damn plants is kind of crazy. Like, just look at this crap. Like, just look at the texture on this plant. Whoa, okay, it does. Okay, whoa, it actually does drop into like the low 60s. Yeah, wow. Like, everything is super detailed and crispy. <laughs> Get it? Crispy? I like that guy. Wow, it almost drops. Okay, it didn't drop from 60, but it dropped to 60. So maybe in some of the most extremely performance intensive areas, it might drop from 60. But even still, come on. Like, this is a single player title. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, it dropped to 59 there, but eh. Doesn't matter. Could also be because I'm recording. Might take away a few FPS here and there because it's quite cheap in Nintendo Run Running. I'm recording at a high bit rate, so could just. It if I, you know, don't record, and look at that VRAM usage, 7.7 7 gigabytes, but it doesn't stutter, so we're just below that VRAM on it. But v Goddamn sticky keys! I hate them. I hate sticky keys. And now I'm running at 20 FPS because now the game has to reload everything for some reason. It takes a few seconds, which is really damn annoying. I hate sticky keys, man. I hate that this game thinks I'm running freaking sticky keys. It happens to me sometimes. I freaking hate it, but... Okay. So let's go. So what's my least valuable thing? Probably, yeah, this one, the 93,000. Okay. What did I get? Yeah, I got the same one, that's 93,000. Yep, okay. Yeah, probably the one that's no it. Yeah, ninety-six thousand. Ooh, okay, that one's decent. Um Yep, the ninety-nine thousand, I guess that one's going. Okay, nice, I completed that mission. Okay, 95,000. Okay, nice. Rare and fun. Okay, good. I'm done, guys. That's all. See you guys. Goodbye, my friends. Good damn bye. Bye. See you in the next video.